Okay, so today the topic is titration. The purpose of titration. What is the purpose of titration? Why we need to do titration? So we do it to find out the concentration of unknown solution. I know that you're confused that what is concentration, but don't worry about it. It's quite simple in chemistry. Concentration means it's dissolved particles in a volume, right? For example, we have two beakers here, beaker A and B. Uh, both of them, they have same volume of solutions. You can see 50 ml and 50 ml. Uh, A has more hydrogen ions compared to B. So we will say that A is concentrated and B is dilute. Uh, in other words, the concentration of A is more compared to concentration of B. The chemicals which we need in titration are acid, alkali and indicator. The apparatus which we need in the titration are here. You can see four different apparatus we need to perform the titration experiment. Now, going towards the procedure of the experiment, we have here hydrochloric acid, which is a strong acid. Strong acid is an acid which ionizes completely in water. Here we have one misconception, which is about strong acid. Student takes it always concentrated acid, which is wrong. So strong acid can be concentrated or even dilute. Here you can see this is a strong acid. So we have suppose four HCl molecules and all these four HCl molecules will dissociate, uh, it will ionize in water, will break down into H plus and Cl minus. Now this is strong acid. By definition, acid has free hydrogen ions. You can see them, they have free hydrogen ions in water. Bases which are soluble in water, they are known as alkali. So group 1 metal al bases are all soluble in water, so they are alkali. In the titration flask, we have sodium hydroxide. Again, sodium hydroxide is a strong alkali, which means it ionizes completely in water. So you can see now that 100% ionization will happen. You can see the AQ you can see here stands for any compound which is soluble in water. So sodium hydroxide dissolves in water and that's why we can call it sodium hydroxide solution or we can write sodium hydroxide AQ. You can, right now we have acid and base, the chemical reaction between acid and base is known as neutralization reaction and they are producing salt and water. Now compounds which are soluble in water like HCl, NaOH and NaCl they will break down in water and they are present in the form of free ions. Those ions which are unchanged, we call them spectator ions and they cancel out from the equation. So you can see sodium and sodium chloride and chloride. We simply cancel them out. So they are not, we are not going to show them in the uh, net chemical reaction. Spectator ions, they are not changing their state and they are not changing even their oxidation state which means their charges so we take them out and now you have your net ionic equation which is h plus oh minus they give us h2o we are going to find out the concentration of the acid and that will go to the buret and the sodium hydroxide will go in the titration flask. So the concentration of acid is basically the amount of acid which is dissolved in a given volume. Here is the equation to find out the concentration which is C equals N over V. Now C is concentration, V is volume and N is moles. But volume has to be in cubic decimeter, keep it in mind. But the unit of concentration is mole per cubic decimeter. Acid goes to the beverage. 
and base with indicator goes to the titration flask. Now the purpose of indicator is to tell us when the chemical reaction will complete between acid and base. That is the main function of uh, indicator by changing its color. We open the burette, acid comes down and we, have, we are going to show just H ions and OH ions to represent the acid and base. You can see H ions when it comes down it's going to react with OH to neutralize each other and when all of them will neutralize the indicator will change the color. You can see the color has been changed. It shows that chemical reaction is completed now and that is the end point of your chemical reaction. We need to know the balance chemical reaction between the two compounds acid and base. So the chemical reaction is here. In the balanced chemical reaction, we have one mole of HCl and one mole of sodium hydroxide. Keep it in mind that concentration of sodium hydroxide is already given and volume of sodium hydroxide is also given, which are in the titration flask. So we can find out now the moles of sodium hydroxide. So to find out the moles of sodium hydroxide, we need to know the volume of sodium hydroxide, which must be in cubic decimeter. Now, to find out the concentration of acid, we need moles of acid and volume of acid. To find out volume of acid, we can use the Burette readings, the initial one and the final one, you can see. So, volume of acid can be, we can find it from the Burette reading, but it has to be in cubic centimeter. Now, volume is from the burette. What about the moles? Moles is from the balance equation because we know that 1 1 molar ratio in the balance chemical equation. So the number of moles of sodium hydroxide which we have in the titration flask, same moles, number of moles will be applied for HCl. And here is the equation to find out the concentration. So C equals N divided by V. V is the volume of the acid but it must be in cubic decimeter and moles is the same moles as sodium hydroxide because the molar ratio is 1 to 1. So this is how we can find out the final concentration of the acid. Okay, here is the final summary of the whole titration.